Hey there, I'm Lisette from Email Tool Tester. If you're using MailChimp or considering it for automation, then you need to keep watching. The popular platform makes a huge deal about its customer journey automation builder, but the truth is, it's not all it's cracked up to be. Let's run down three reasons why it falls short and which email marketing services do a better job at a fraction of the cost. Not so long ago, MailChimp introduced its new and improved customer journey builder to replace its classic automation workflow builder. Great news, right? Well, yeah, not so much. It's true that the new customer journey builder gives you more flexibility, but there's one huge drawback. Automations are no longer available as part of MailChimp's free plan. That's right, to automate, you have to compensate. And just so you know, many other email marketing services do offer automations for free. I'll share some of my favorite free tools at the end of this video, so stick around for that. Now, even if you're okay with upgrading to MailChimp's Essentials plan, you'll soon find yourself coming up against some pretty annoying limitations. To start, you can only add a maximum of four steps within any automation. These include the starting trigger, for example, when a contact subscribes to a list or clicks an email, any conditions, and the automated action, such as sending an email or tagging a contact. What's more, you can only add a maximum of three starting points. If you want to add more triggers or steps, you need to upgrade to the standard plan, which starts getting quite pricey. Same goes for adding branching logic like if-else conditions and percentage splits. One way or another, MailChimp's automations end up costing you. Finally, MailChimp could do with a more complete set of triggers to kick off an automated journey. For example, you cannot trigger an automation based on whether someone replies to an email or if someone visits an important page on your website. If you have an online store, you'll find some useful e-commerce automations. However, only Shopify store owners get access to more complex automations like browse abandonment emails. If you're on a platform like WooCommerce or BigCommerce, your options are more limited. And if you have a complex sales process and are looking for trigger sales automations, I'd definitely look elsewhere. MailChimp doesn't have a built-in CRM, so you can't trigger actions like updating lead scores, changing deal statuses, or assigning deal owners within the platform. So what are some better picks for marketing automation? Well, if you're after a free service, we'd recommend MailerLite or Bravo. Both offer automations on their free plans as well as generous sending limits. And even if you needed to upgrade, their prices are much more wallet-friendly than MailChimp's. But if you're after more powerful and flexible automations, we'd recommend ActiveCampaign or GetResponse. ActiveCampaign is especially great if you need sales automations and a built-in CRM. Finally, if you have an online store, we'd recommend Omnisend and Klaviyo, which both give you a wider range of automation options, including browse abandonment emails. If you want more in-depth email marketing reviews, check out our website, emailtooltester.com. And make sure to hit subscribe for more email marketing tips.